Hey guys, so we are in week two of the Quality Assurance Coding Boot Camp at Dev Mountain, and it's been a uh, fun time and experience, as my friend likes to say, my cheap friend who doesn't buy things, but instead says he likes to give experiences that are oftentimes free. But uh, it has been fun. Uh, I've enjoyed it. There's been some hiccups along the way that I think are going to be smoothed out. But let's go ahead and uh, talk about what to expect in your first two weeks. <laughs> So the um, the first thing to sort of expect is just understanding, and this is probably something everyone understands, but I think it's worth mentioning that you're back in class. You are expected to put in time and effort. And so I would say by and large, I'm in a little bit of a unique situation, be already being a full-time salaried developer and being exposed to a lot of the concepts that we're talking about that maybe the learning curve isn't as bad for me, which is why I'm spending no more than about 10 to 12 hours a week so far in the coding bootcamp. Um, now, I expect to ramp that up to about 20 when we start hitting the more advanced topics, but the first, um, the first couple sections are gonna be, at least for me, so, somewhat review. Uh, I find that oftentimes I know the topics and uh, fairly well. I just maybe don't know the vocabulary. That's been sort of uh, some of the issues. So, excuse me. Um, with that being said, um, what can you really expect? Well, uh, a lot of notif your notifications are going to come through the Slack channel, so you're definitely going to want to keep that up. Have your, you know, please send me the messages uh, uh, permission that your browser will give you so you know when people are talking to you. Um, check those messages when they come to your Gmail. Um, you're also going to be working ex pretty extensively with Jira. So quality assurance is one of those things where you're keeping track of things. You are letting people know where a project is at. You're letting people know what the issues are and you are continually looking to um, report back about it and so to do that properly you have to keep track of it and you have to report upon it and jira is the main tool that we're using which is fantastic because it's going to be something you're going to be using more than likely in the workplace you might use azure devops who has their own board kanban board but at the same time that either one just getting exposed to the tools and technologies so um a little bit about how the program is structured is they have about five modules you can think of modules as the over milestones, if you want to, the overarching um, application or uh, course. And within there, you have units. And so I want to say there's five units in the first module. And uh, every module has a sort of portfolio building project, a something that and I haven't got to it yet. So I can't go too much into detail. I, I would expect to get to it by the end of next week or the following week. Um, the end of the module you built the project. Um, but there's little mini projects along the way, little like maybe 30 minute to an hour projects, sometimes quizzes. And those are, those are good because they get you some practice, they get you to build some things. And um, I would say probably I've gone through the first two and a half units, I've done about five little mini projects that have been um, just getting me to practice what it is that I'm using. So from a course um, setup standpoint, it's it's very good. It's also very uh, fresh. Now, one of the things that they said is you'll notice that you know the outline for four and five is only partially there. It's looking a little less. Than, it's not because there's less content, but because we're actually rebuilding it. We're adding to it. We're we're expanding upon it because one of the benefits of going to any boot camp is in theory you're there not to just get educated, you're there to get skills that are going to help you get a job. And to do that, you have to be learning the latest and the greatest, and you have to be learning relevant content, which otherwise there's plenty of um, degree programs out there that will take longer or more money and, and um, sometimes may be outdated and will take longer for you to get in the workforce. Where boot camps excel, is they want to get you going as quick as possible. And so I, I really like that. Um, one thing I will say is their online QA program uh, seems to be relatively new. 
um, and it seems like they're working out a few of the kinks. So, like in the in the um, syllabus, there's a schedule, but it's not fully filled out because they're trying to figure out what's best time for people, for the students rather. Um, there was a little bit of miscommunication between some of the instructors and mentors, and we missed a lab session that got rescheduled for the next day. Um, but by and large, it's been pretty smooth. You know, everything has their hiccups. I will say that's kind of cool. Um, so you, you'll get, you'll end up with like a mentor, you'll end up with like a, a teacher, and then um, very early on, you will talk with, and I just had this talk, it's a little short 15 minute talk um, with a success coordinator. I forget her exact title. Whew. But the, um, God, I, I'm tired this morning. I apologize, guys. Uh, but, the idea is that she is going to help you get a job. She's going to right now find out what my goal, you know, what your goals are and what you're looking to accomplish and do. And after that, going to um, down the road, help you prepare your resume, prepare your LinkedIn, get you ready, get those things that, you know, I, a lot, it's so funny. A lot of things you mentioned, I was like, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you are providing this service for people. Um, I don't, necessarily need it but i'm really happy because a lot of people don't know a lot of people don't know how a good resume or good portfolio or good linkedin is the difference between you getting a call and not getting a call and so uh, that's what the her job is to help you to help you apply help you get ready help you prep you know so um very very excited to see what they are or what the rest of the course looks like um it's interesting being back in like a structured program and even for a coding boot camp that's maybe like 12 weeks um it is one of those things where i'm such an unstructured learner and i thrive in it i whatever it is that i want to learn i'll learn and do and i'll find my own path and so there's a little bit of it there for me where i have to sort of give up that control and be like all right this is what they say i'm gonna learn this is how the path i'm gonna go and, um, you know, it, it somewhat reminds me of uh, college just because you have a structured learning path. Uh, but it's, it's fun. It's different. Um, and I'm, I'm excited. So um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you didn't uh, see the first video, there's uh, another video talking about what to expect in the application process. This is the second video of, I want to say, a six-video series where we'll do a video every two weeks talking about Dev Mountain's quality assurance program and then um, wrap it up with you know a final video just sort of hey what did I like what didn't I like all that sort of stuff but um, as always guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like subscribe share all that good stuff notification bell that's the thing I'll see you guys next time bye Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course. Get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.